last episode, we talked about the diagnosis and the symptoms of the ADD or ADHD, but how can we treat it? Today, we have Dr. Jason Jane in our studio, and we will mm. talk about this topic. So, Dr. Jason Jane, like we heard the stimulant is mm. one of the treatment of the ADD or ADHD. Is mm. that true? Yes. Now, this is true. The treatment right now, there's some misconceptions. It's because people, patients, physicians are like, Mostly, even regarding ADD, like synonymous with ADD, ADHD. They even think about attention, like statements is the only treatment about the attention deficit. That's a misconception. Uh, so, let's review what is real underlying issue for the attention deficit. Uh, when patient sees a psychiatrist, we, from a psychiatric point of view, we assume the patient don't have enough normal dopamine in the brain, especially in the prefrontal cortex, this part. Uh, so that's the part, reason the part cause problem with the attention or focus. Uh, so then how, how do we help patients? So we consider as long as anything, any ways can increase norepinephrine, increase dopamine in the brain, it can help them. So not just Andrew. Yes, Andrew is one of the ways of increased norepinephrine dopamine. Currently, we commonly use Andrew. Also, another medication is nonstimulant Stratera. Uh, Stratera is nonstimulant, uh, which also is a very effective treatment for the attention deficit. But right now, may, many, many patients have never heard of Stratera, or not mention they never tried Stratera. Or the trisotel doesn't work, then they stop use and stimulants again. So, first and first, I want to help you understand what's the difference between stimulants and the lung stimulants. What's the difference between andro and the strotel? The number one difference is andro working fast. You can tell the difference with the days. That is very unusual. It's because in the medical field, most medications they take several weeks to be effective. Uh, so this is why people like the uh, stimulants, like, like Andrew. It's because this is America. Uh, Americans, you know, like a fast pace. Uh, fast foods, fast sports, like for the ball, not to mention fast pace medications. But on the other hand, lung stimulants, like short here, work slowly. Uh, how slow? Like you watch the grass go Meaning it takes weeks three, four, five weeks, even months to be effective. And that's what, that's just one of the reasons don't, people don't like the, the like stimulants, like structure. Second is andro stimulants has a much large treatment size. Uh, people can tell a difference significantly. On the other hand, lung stimulants like structure, the treatment size is relatively small, uh, but still small enough to help a patient pay attention, focus on the and functioning, that is not that small, uh, but really, really small. This is the second reason people like they got stimulants. But also, stimulants cause huge problem. What's problem? Number one is tolerance. Uh, if patient on the stimulants on a regular basis, daily basis, they usually will develop tolerance within several years, four or five or six years. Uh, so that causes problem, meaning even they reach maximum dose, they still don't feel not enough. Uh, that would cause huge problem. Uh, many people thought after several years, they have probably have go through the difficult time. They probably don't need the stimulants. Uh, so by, by then, even the difficult tolerance, that's okay with them. Uh, this is the initial thoughts. They even thought about maybe someday they can stop the andro when they life get easier. Uh, they don't, after five or 10 years, uh, they thought they can stop the uh, stimulants. Same time. Especially on high dose statements for several years, they will develop addiction. Mentally, physically, they probably don't need the andro for attention or for the focus. But psychologically, they rely on statements. Not mention they cannot stop, even they not take enough dose. They feel that they miss something, something important in their life. Then they feel their life is becoming miserable. Then they like they in the hell. Many people by after uh, five or ten years or twenty years, 
gradually, gradually they develop. We call treatment resistant depression. We call TRD. TRD used to be a real phenomenon, but now it becomes more and more common because people use statements or hide or opioids. Once they develop a treatment resistant like a depression, then they dramatically increase the suicide risk. It's because when you're in the hill, you want to get out of the hill. What can you do? There's only one pathway to get out of the hill by death. Then many patients told me they will actually not want to kill themselves. They just want to get out of the hill. That's the only path, unfortunately. That's another reason government right now stop cracking down. It's because severe depression is suicide risk. Compared with the stimulants, non-stimulants, tolerance is minimal. Once we identify a right dose for you, you can use for years to come without change. Right now, I have a number of patients and certain among them start here for about five, six years. They never change. So tolerance is minimal. And there's no addiction. Many people thought, how come? How come white statements have addiction and the next statement, uh, they got next statements uh, that there's no addiction? Uh, here you can see, Stratero says to block the reuptake to increase the normal different dopamine in this space. Uh, but on the other hand, the statements like Andrew make the nerve cells release more dopamine into the synaptic cleft in this space. In other words, here is what Andrew does, make the dopamine release more. And here actually and Stratera block the reuptake, decrease reuptake. So this this is real severely complicated. It's difficult for patients or people like you to understand. So let me give you another analogy to help you understand. So here we can see there's river, there's lake, and there's that. We assume the water level in the river represents dopamine, norepinephrine, which you don't have enough. Uh, that's why it causes problems with the attention, focus, and first place. So in order to reach water level in the river, what would you suppose to do first and first? Um. First and first, I think we have to build the dam mm -hmm. so like the water won't go out. Right, that's right. So, in order to reach water in the in the in the river, the first and first we need to build a dam. If there's no dam there, but in many situations there's dam there just wide open, they need to close that. After we close that, then we can wait for some time. If the uh, water in the river reach to snow, then we will leave the gate, release more water from the lake. Uh, this is common sense, right? Anybody with the rational thinking or logic thoughts know this. Uh, nobody will just release water from lake to river, leave the dam wide open. That's not doable, not sustainable. A dignity treatment actually is like this picture. Did you see this guy on the gate? Another guy beside the Godin. Andrew actually is similar like this guy on the gate. What he's doing? He's just leave the gate to release more water. That's what Andrew does. Guy beside the dam. This is Strut here. Strut here, what he, what he do? What he does? He's just close that. Let's talk about Andrew. Why Andrew can develop tolerance? It's because you can see. You release water from the lake to the river, but the water in the lake is limited. If you keep releasing water, uh, the water, especially during the winter, during this fall, there's no much rain. Uh, because we know the water in the lake has, has come, come up from where? Hmm? Come, from, come from the sky. Uh, come from the sky, right? Uh, so water in the neighbors come up from the sky, so from raining. So during the summer, Probably that's not a big, big deal. You have enough water. But during the winter, during the fall, there's not much raining. If you still release a certain amount of water day in and day out every day, then uh, the water in the lake will be gradually, gradually decrease. Once they decrease below the gate, then no matter how high you leave the gate, you can't get more. And that's how the tolerance develop. So on the other hand, at marketing structure, 
they just close down. They are just decrease water from release from the lake. So that's why they, win, they don't have tolerance. Uh, actually, they can help delay or improve the tolerance towards stimulants. Why? It's because you don't need to release more water from the lake to, to the river once you cross that. Uh, so this is why Stratera, there's no addiction, no tolerance. This is not too good to be true. So also, it's because once you close that, so you don't need to keep increasing the dose. That's why uh, you, you can t take a similar dose for yours to that. Uh, so this is another reason why stimulants is control medication. And then Stratera is non-control medication. It's because it decreases that, decreases water flow away, and just decreases waste of the water. Uh, that's actually, actually encouraged uh, by everybody. This guy on the lake, they keep they leave the water from river or from lake to the river. That causes huge problem. Uh, why the <clears throat> andron is severely control medications, and the stratera is not. Uh, so because you can use as high dose as, as you want, as long as you want for non stimulants. But stimulants we have to limit it, your use. Mm -hmm. Thanks for Dr. Jason J answering all of our questions today and don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss Dr. Jason J's following video and thanks for your joining our studio. Yeah.